The stage is set, the ring is up, and we are ready to roll with Wrestle Kingdom 14. Hi, everybody, I'm Kevin Kelly, along with Gino Gambino and Chris Charlton. Where's Rocky? We're better off without him. It, <laughs> it well, is he, is he coming? Apparently he went out is last night. he coming? Night. <laughs> I, he might be helicoptering here from <laughs> Anyway, we are thankful that you are here with us in this special pregame show because uh, the event is going to be live from Tokyo Dome in just a little while. We th want to thank everybody all around the world who will be tuning in. As we know, gentlemen, record-setting crowd, the first of two nights here in Tokyo Dome, and the double gold dash is our focus. Tonight's main event will be for the IWGP Heavyweight Championship. It's Kazuchika Okada versus Kota Ibushi, the Golden Star, the G1 Climax winner against the five-time reigning champion. Chris, I'll go to you first. Ibushi's state of mind heading in to this title match tonight. Confident, a little bit dangerous. Those words that he gave in his interviews, nobody knows quite the lengths I'm willing to go to. I think he's got something that dark Ibushi has awoken in him. He's going to be a dangerous, dangerous man tonight. Well, I wish Rocky was here to be able to talk about Okada, but Gino, I'll go to you instead, because if you're the five-time IWGP Heavyweight Champion, you know you've got a huge target on your back, and you're coming in against an extra-motivated Ibushi, but this seems to be where Okada is at his best. Okada has absolutely dominated the uh, Tokyo Dome scene for such a long time now. This is his home. This is where he makes his gold. So. I don't know, he's gonna be the favorite in this race. And we will talk about favorites. Who will be the Intercontinental Champion when night one is done? Of course, the winners go tomorrow to the main event. It will be IWGP Heavyweight Champion versus IWGP Intercontinental Champion in a winner-take-all showdown. But tonight for the Intercontinental title, Tepsi and Naito challenges the champion, Switchblade Jay White. What in the world is going to be different this time that would give Tetsuya Naito an edge. Does Switchblade Jay White have everything going for him? This is the opportunity for Jay White to prove that he is the best wrestler in the world. It's so important to him tonight to walk away with that first win, go into night two and come out as double champion. The interview that was on NJPW1972.com, which is up now if you folks want to check it out, Naito spoke about his state of mind and his physical being. Uh, things have not been all good for Tetsuya Naito. He's not willing to say that he's 100% either physically or mentally, but a really big boost is going to be 43,000 people chanting his name here tonight in the Tokyo Dome. And you can imagine the scene that will unfold when the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Championship is at stake because it's Will Ospreay defending. I get goosebumps yes. just saying this match against the returning Hiromu Takahashi. Oh, what a scene it is going to be here, gentlemen. Osprey has to know all the work that he's done in 2019 and he's going to be facing a man just extremely motivated like never before. We haven't seen that fairy tale ending to his comeback yet but you got to admit Osprey is at the top of his game and probably the best junior heavyweight in the world at the moment so it's a big task for Hiromu. How nervous do you think Hiromu will be before this match? Nervous I think sure but a good kind of nerves. They've got the pressure is on Hiromu not just to steal night one, but to steal the whole weekend starting tonight. It's a, of course, we're preparing, preparing for the event, so you'll be hearing some voices in the background. What was God? Let's quickly talk about Lance Archer, John oh, Moxley, man. Texas Deathmatch rules. It is going to be a wild scene for the IWGP US Heavyweight Championship. This is a match, of course, Archer won the title when Moxley was unable to appear at King of Pro Wrestling, the Typhoon-related flight delays. I would imagine, Chris, that Archer is gonna come in with a real chip on his shoulder. He's had a chip on his shoulder the whole of 2019, now rolling into 2020. He knows that chip has given him a lot of strength over the year and has given him the United States Championship. Yeah, but Lance Archer has never been better than he has been, and I have a feeling Archer will maintain control of the US title. The winner will move on tomorrow to challenge Juice Robinson, Juice sits back tonight. He doesn't get the night off, though, because he and David Finley, the World Tag League winners, face the IWGP Heavyweight Tag Team Champions, the Gorillas of Destiny. This is G.O.D.'s time, Gino. They have to do it. They've held the goal five times now, and this is the biggest night for them. Look, they don't have the best record at Wrestle Kingdom, but this will put a stamp on what they are as a tag team. So that's the title matches. There's a whole lot more that's going to happen tonight. Make sure you're there with us live. Where the... Oh, okay. Sorry, Rocky! Guys. Okay. Uh. Director, man, uh, countdown five, 
four. We're, we're Rocky, three. we're finished. 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 You're dead? Out of time. Done. All right, well, hey, it's Wrestle Kingdom 14, NJPWWorld.com. See you there.